Good afternoon. So the purpose of this fabrication demo, okay, is to, to show you how to properly break down a piece of fish. What we what I have in front of me here is a beautiful piece of uh, beautiful whole king salmon, okay. And what I'm going to do is remove one fillet, okay. Remove one fillet, and I've started with a clean dry surface, okay. You want to cut behind. You want to cut behind the dorsal fin, okay. Sharp knife, bony knife. It's preferable. Once you get down to the to the spine, you let the knife do the work for you. Go ahead and stop, and then you want to turn your knife toward the tail, and then continue to cut. Using your, I'm right-handed, so I'm using my left hand to to gently hold the fish in place, and I'm running my knife down the spine, down the spine, okay, all the way. To the tail. Okay. So I went ahead and removed the first fillet. Okay, what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn this fish around and I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side and it's important that you go ahead and remove these fillets from the carcass get that carcass out of the way Always want to make sure that your utensils and your hands are dry and clean. Safety is everything. Okay, again, just behind that dorsal fin, all the way to the spine. Okay, and then toward the tail. You should you should hear a little cracking if you do it right. That is. Now this is a large piece of large piece of fish, so just take your time with it. Don't cut yourself. If you have to come down the opposite side and get that skin, it can be tough. You know, go ahead and do that. Okay. There are quite a bit of pin bones in this fish, and that's okay because we're going to come back around. We're going to remove this, remove these pin bones. Okay. If your fish kind of does that to you, it kind of breaks up on you, that's okay. That'll happen. That'll happen from time to time. Okay? Usually, when you're fabricating fish, as you'll, as you'll see, um, usually one side will give you a little bit more trouble than the other side, but that's okay. No one's... No sense to panic. What I'm doing is I'm just removing some of that belly fat and those bones, okay, the ribs from this carcass, from the, uh, excuse me, from the fillet, and then I will come back and I will dress this fillet up. No sense in rushing, panicking. That's how you get hurt, okay? That's how mistakes happen. So with this carcass, okay, should be as clean as possible. Okay, what you could do, what you could do is take a spoon and you could scrape this excess meat off of the spine and you could use that meat for uh, croquettes, you know, fish balls, things like that, okay? Um, fish cake. Etc. Etc. Some of your crab cake only you're using you're using the salmon. Uh, I'm not going to do that for this application. Uh, the other thing you could do is with this carcass you can save it 
and make a fish stock, which is classically known as a, as a fume, fish fume. Okay, so I'll go ahead and discard this, this fillet here. I mean, excuse me, this carcass. Okay. Again, you want to make sure that your, your board stays dry and as clean as possible. First fillet that we did, okay? So it still has, it still has the skin on. So, again, before I remove the skin from this from this sam from this king salmon, this beautiful piece of king salmon, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the ribs. Okay. And I'm gonna do so by cutting on a bias, a 45 degree angle, from the head to the tail. And then that, all those ribs and all that fat, all that stuff will just come right off. And what you'll have left is you'll have this nice clean bottom portion of your of your fillet okay you could also use this in your in your fish fume you'd obviously want to trim off these these uh, fins below here as well okay any in any uh, bones or dorsal fin bones you have up top go ahead in the same motion about a 45 degree angle cutting on a bias. You can go ahead and remove those. If you want to do this, I would recommend doing this when the skin is still on the is still intact with the with the flesh because it helps to hold it together. It helps to hold it together. Okay, you don't I mean you could but your 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 fillet is gonna be a lot more delicate once you take the skin off and you just have that meat. So you want to kind of keep it intact. And the good trick for me that I found is leaving that skin on, and then do, do as much of the fabrication that you can, with the exception of the, the pin bones. Okay, the pin bones I'm, I'm gonna actually uh, remove once I take the skin off. Okay, so that part's done. Now I'm going to take the underside off the skin. And there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with this skin, okay? But the preparation that I want is I want a, a, uh, a skinless, clean uh, salmon filet. But you could leave this skin on. You'd want to scale it, make sure there's no scales on there. Um, and then you can make a nice crispy uh, pan seared salmon. Nice crispy skin, it would be delicious. There's certainly nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, okay? So, what you want to do is take this filet here, bring it to you, okay? Work closer to you rather than away. And then you like using your, your cutting board and your, and your surface, okay? You want to go ahead and Start from the tail and then work your way all the way to the head, okay? Um, and then what you're going to do, the motion that you want, is you're going to have your uh, boning knife flush on your cutting board. And then you're going you're gonna to pull with your uh, opposite hand and then your dominant hand. You're going to um, drag or uh, gently slice all the way down the skin from tail to head to remove that skin. And then what you're going to have is you're going to have a clean skin when I finish and then you're going to have as much of this meat intact on this fillet as, as you possibly can. Okay, so I'm going to do that by starting a little a little incision. Okay, I'm not going all the way uh, through the skin, just to the skin. Okay, a little flap if you will. This fish is slimy. Okay, it is, it is slimy. There's a lot of moisture here so one trick is you can grab the tail with the um, paper towel, okay, and then you want to go ahead and start slicing gently, okay, and if you're working with a big piece of fillet like I am, okay, you might have to do this in two, two sections. Obviously, it would, be, it would be much easier if you if you had a smaller piece of fish. Okay, and then all this skin is left. We're gonna go ahead and add this to our scraps our pile here. Okay. You want to bring the product to you. I still have some more some more bones here on top. I'm just gonna go ahead like I did earlier on the rib cage. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the some of those bones with my 
Go on your knife. Okay. Can I get some more paper towel shit? Right. So, if you came up close and you and you ran your fingers across the uh, the flesh, okay, from head to tail, you'd feel the bones, okay, you'd feel the bones, the pin bones. It'd feel like little like little pieces of sandpaper, kind of rubbing against the tip of your finger, okay. So these bones, they're going they're going toward the head. So you always want to remove the pin bones um, in the manner in which they are in, in the manner in which they're going. So they're going toward the head. So you want to pull in that direction. If you start pulling toward the tail, you're gonna you're gonna tear up this meat. Okay, you're gonna tear up this meat. So what I have here is I have my handy dandy fish pliers and the uh, fish bone pliers in the shape of a fish. It looks like a fish. Get a close up of that. And you want to go ahead and remove these these pin bones. Now in a large piece of fish like this, they're going to be large. See? And that's that's a physical contaminant that you learn in your serve safe class. Okay, that's a choking hazard. Okay? No fun. So you want to make sure that all those bones are removed. And there's quite a few in this in this fillet. Depending upon how close you get to the spine, when you're taking, when you're removing your your fillet from the um, from the carcass, from the whole fish, so I'm going to go ahead and remove some of this excess the excess bones here on the side of the belly. And then another thing you need to remember that you do is is you remove this um, this bloodline here, okay? That's that's as simple as. Running your knife down the spine, down the side of the spine, from tail to head. Dress this up and have it as clean as as clean as possible before you you portion it, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. This excess, there's nothing wrong with the salmon here. This excess salmon, okay, this can be ground up with that that residual meat that would be left on the on the side of the fish after you took the fillets after you took the, the fillets off, um, and then you can add that to make your fish cake. Grind it up, okay. If you've ever had a had a crab cake, similar process, only you're using um, fish instead of, of crab, okay. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and portion this, portion this out. Okay, I'm going to portion this out. I'm not going to use a scale. I'm going to go ahead and just go off of just go off of, of um, <coughs> intuition here and portion these. Okay, probably about two inches, about two inches, two and a half inches wide. Okay, this is about a half an inch long piece of salmon. So I'm going to get about my four ounce, four four and a half ounce piece of fish. Okay, with about two inches wide, about an inch, an inch. Um, an inch thick like they are. Okay, I've been doing this a little while, um, but you could obviously, if you're if you're a novice, you could definitely have a scale. I'd recommend have it, having a scale, cutting a portion, and then um, weighing it out, and so all your pieces are, are uniform. And the reason why you want to do that is it promotes an even cooking. Okay, even cooking um, across the board, so you don't have overcooked pieces of fish, or you're not serving somebody sashimi. Okay, when they when they're expecting uh, baked salmon, baked broiled salmon.
And there you have your prepared salmon fillets, king salmon fillets. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.